Hey guys, this is Randy here. We're uh, going to do another video. Uh, please guys, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you'd like to help our channel, uh, our cash app is be down below in the description. Any help would be appreciated. Thanks. Look guys, today's on the rear metering plate of like your 4160, 750, all of these type of carburetors you can run the rear metering plate unless you convert them. Uh, I want to point out a few things to you where you'll, I don't know if you, some of you might already realize this, but this is the top of the plate in the bottom. So we got the jet holes here on each side. And so the fuel travels up through the, to the idle circuit here and to the main well here, to the main jet. And the actual bleeds actually end up for the high speed ends up being right around here. And the bleed for the idle circuit is right around here. Okay, now right here, can they see that cameraman? Can they see that little hole right there? Can you tilt it this way a little? Yeah, how about there? Yes, uh, right there, right there, yes, sir. That little hole right there that comes across here is the actual idle circuit. This is the idle fuel restriction right here. And, and like I say, it comes through the main jet, it'll come up here, it'll also come up here and feed the main jet. Here's one that I modified myself. I like. I don't like it being this small area right here, so I've just opened it up right in front of where the Venturas are and just gave it a little little modification there. And uh, also, which one is it? This one here, I put some actual screw-in. I made some screw-in jets, actually. This plate is really thin here. So I, you can see how ultra-thin it is here and here. You know, it's actually coming out of the housing but it works it can definitely be done and you can you can make these adjustable here you you can do anything with these little plates if you want to work at it just have to have really small screw-in bleeds all right also one thing this is a, a quick fuel technology this is their version of the modified rear plate they have the jets right here in the front and uh comes up, it's the same thing, got the same exact thing. It's just a little thicker and nicer as billet aluminum. Uh, one thing we need to remember, we, we run two different type of gaskets. There's two different type of plates. There's this type of plate here, and there's this type of plate here, which the, you, if you notice, these are coming on out because they got the idle circuit cut down through here. In other words, the idle circuit's coming through to feed. And this one, We'll cover this one up properly, you can see. But if it you put it on there, it leaves the idle circuit wide open to the bowl. And that, it just will make a mess. It'll run extremely rich. So we have to remember to get the proper gasket on there. So then we know that we got the idle circuit open. And that's just a little, little tidbit. Now this plate here, it goes on here like so. You have a gasket. And then you have the plate, and then you have this gasket, which sets on there, just like so. Now, you can run this, and it at least the gasket, this type of gasket will kind of push up in there as you tighten it down. If you just run this plate with this gasket, it does tend to leave imprints, and it'll take away a little bit of the space here, but it works fine. I've never had a problem with it. If you're in a real high flow situation where you're, running this carburetor on a real strong motor, then yeah, you might want to run the plate and the thin gasket because it won't take none of the space and of the flow of the fuel to the idle circuit and to the main well. Because this gasket will actually push up in there a certain amount. Not bad, but it does. This won't. This will just, the whole idea behind here is not to impede flow, to, flow at all. So that's not going to, it and then you put this gasket on top of it this is the best way but you do not have to use this if you don't want to unless like i say unless you're really wanting every little bit of flow out of it then i'd recommend using the plate and other gasket and this one behind it all right guys this was just a quick short video remember this is the idle circuit right here that's the idle fuel restrictor right there okay and so that's going to increase fuel to the circuit and and it's it's just a metered circuit on most of these unless you put a metered block in them in which you would do away with this if you did.
All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below, and you all have a good day.